So first I found this toy tub from my local thrift store. So it did have some of these designs on here, but I'm going to take care of that later on in the video. First things first, this is the color I chose to use was Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Ink. However, you do not have to choose this color. I just painted all throughout the bottom of the bathtub with this color. I did end up doing two coats. You want to allow the first coat to completely dry before going on to the second coats. And then for the handles and the faucet, all I did was just wrap some blue painter's tape around it because I didn't want to get any of that black chalk paint onto the white part of the tub. And once that was covered, again, just use that ink chalk paint and just started painting the handles and that faucet. Again, I did end up doing two coats, dry the first coat before going on to the second, and then just allow everything to dry. Go ahead and peel off that blue painter's tape. And I know this looks so cute the way it is, and I know it's super hard to see that outline of that design in this video, but I saw it in person and it was just driving me crazy. So I had to cover that up with something more texturized. So I ended up using some Mod Podge, applied some ground cinnamon right on top, just dabbed it in with my fingers, and then went over it again with a little bit more Mod Podge. So for this step, you wanna make sure that you are dabbing the Mod Podge on top of that cinnamon. You wanna make sure you're not brushing it on because if you brush it on, it's just going to take all that cinnamon off and you don't want that to happen. So as you're adding more Mod Podge, if you need to add a little bit more cinnamon, you could do that as well. But I just did this all around, kind of like the middle part of the tub and I did a little bit of the feet and added a little bit of the Mod Podge and cinnamon to the handles and the faucet. And this is, again, covering up that outline design of like the bubbles or something that were on the original tub. And I like the rusty look, so I think this came out really cool. Now you could fill this up with whatever you would like. If you wanna put in some faux flowers, use it as a planter, or you could just simply put it in your bathroom and put your hand soap and a bottle of lotion inside of the tub. Just a cute accent piece for around your house or in your bathroom. But guys, I think this transformation was super cool. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.